click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to see the introduction to the sequential circuits. Let's start the discussion. So, up till now we have seen the combinational circuit. Now we are going to see the sequential circuits. So your topic is sequential circuit introduction. Now in combinational circuit what was the important point? For the combinational circuit your output depends on present input only and examples we have seen are what we can say mux demux etc now our topic is sequential circuit in sequential circuit output depends on present input and past output that is the difference and here one more thing is added that is past you can say here output so you can say here output depends on present input and past output if you draw the diagram for sequential circuit then it is a combinational circuit here is the input and here we are getting the output now in sequential circuit memory element is added that is past output you have to give to the feedback to the input side and clock signal also you have to attach so this is the block diagram for sequential circuit now the examples of the sequential circuit are examples you can say here flip flops counters and registers so in short if anywhere sequential circuit is there then inside the sequential circuit the output of the sequential circuit depends on the whatever the input we are giving at the present and the past output we have got from the previous results this is all about the introduction to the sequential circuit thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda